This is Black Emmanuel. It's essentially the same as Emmanuel, but it's Black Emmanuel. So if you don't press the like button, you're a racist. I don't see how. I'm Jay Harang and I talk about soft porn and stalker movies. You should subscribe. So in typical Emmanuel fashion, we're on a plane and strangers are at it before photographer Mae Jordan, professional name Emmanuel, touches down in Nairobi to meet the Daniellis, Gianni and Anne, who looks like Eddie Izzard. When they drop Gianni off at the petrol station, don't know why, this guy comes to clean their windscreen. The windscreen, however, doesn't seem to be his priority. He always looks at me like that. It's one day or another. I think I'll give him a treat. The Daniellis have thrown a party to welcome Emmanuel, and here's where we meet all their weird friends, including Richard, who's always drunk. Everyone is overly laughing at things that aren't funny. My friend and my partner. Always a friend and a partner, only during the daytime. <laughs> the only thing scotch about him is the whiskey he drinks. <laughs> and here comes William Meredith. <laughs> These are my pupils and my models. Then some locals come in and do some tribal dance around the pool and Eddie gets a bit excited. I love black skin. Okay. Eddie then introduces Emmanuel to Professor Kamal from the University of Nairobi. And while they're talking, we see Gianni in the background. It looks like he's arguing with Richard's wife, Gloria. This party is so weird. William starts telling Emmanuel how painting is better than photography. I am a master of the brush. You photographers are an abomination. It's all click, 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 and bobs your ankle. Then drunk Richard propositions her. How about a lanky panky? He's a creep. Oh yeah, and now Gianni is kissing Gloria in the bushes before she comes out and starts dancing with the locals. Yeah, she's always demanding equal rights. Oh dear. Then everyone jumps in the pool. The next day we're back at the petrol station and Eddie decides it's time for this guy's treat. Oh I see. Emmanuel goes to see what's going on inside. When Eddie gets back to the car, Emmanuel's like, what about your husband? And Eddie's like, yeah, don't worry about that. So it's one of those situations again where they're married but can do whatever they want and no one cares. Yeah. That evening, they're all at this restaurant. Emmanuel dances with Gianni and Gloria gets jealous, so drags drunk Richard up to dance with her. But Emmanuel decides it's time to go home. Gianni's driving her and Emmanuel tells him to pull over and comes on to him. He's keen, but after a couple of minutes, she's like, no, I need to go home. And he's like, well, that's fine, but you started it. Next morning in the pool, Emmanuel tells Gianni that she is up for it. But not in the car, like a couple of teenagers. I'll try to come to your room. No, not in this house. Where, where? Wherever you like, but not here. That's not really true, though, is it? No. You've already ruled out the car and now the house. You piece of shit. Anyway, Gianni asks William if he can have his house for a few hours tomorrow, and William agrees. So finally some photography is going on now. Emmanuel is taking photos of these ruins, and for some reason the whole team has come along. Eddie Izzard, Gianni, Drunk Richard, Gloria, and Professor Kamal. Emmanuel seems to be leading Gianni into the bushes, but when he follows her, she's already banging Richard. Oh. Then they play tennis, and there's some serious skill on show. Emmanuel follows Gianni into the shower afterwards, but he's like, no, not now, thanks. Listen, don't play games with me, you understand? But they've booked William's house, remember? So they go there, snoop around, and then they bang. Next day, Eddie is flying Emmanuel up in a plane to a safari park so she can take photos of animals. Somehow, this turns into them taking photos of each other naked. Of course. When they get home, they develop the photos, and then they bang. Gianni sees them, and later, while he's shagging Eddie, Emmanuel is fantasizing about Gianni and African things. For some reason, this has caused her to sleepwalk out into the garden, naked, and she sees Gianni and Eddie at it in their room. Then she starts touching herself while imagining she's in there with Gianni instead. Next day, Professor Kamal is playing the piano, and Eddie gets really into it and starts touching herself. While that's going on, Gloria calls Gianni and is annoyed because ever since Emmanuel's been there, he's been ignoring her. To get Gloria off his back, Gianni says, don't be ridiculous, she's just a tramp. This really pisses off Emmanuel, who's listening in, so she hitchhikes into the city. I wonder if you can guess what happens in the car. I knew it, I fucking knew it. Gianni follows her and sees the truck pulled over on the side of the road. I wonder if you can guess what's going on by the side of the road. I don't know if it's the kind of thing you should be looking at. 
Yep, he sees her and then goes home. Sometime later, when everyone else is in the city, Gloria and Emmanuel are talking by the pool, and then they bang. And these two randoms are watching. The next day, they're all off to the safari lodge. Emmanuel is apologising to Gianni for listening in on his phone conversation with Gloria. He's still a bit pissed off, so the next morning she comes into his room to smooth things over. Stuff's about to start happening when Eddie knocks on the door. Emmanuel hides in the bathroom. Eddie comes in and asks Gianni, Have you seen Emmanuel? How could I? I never left the room. Why are you acting so guilty? I don't know, Anne. Okay, okay, don't get mad. I'll look somewhere else. But she hears the shower going and sees her in there. Doesn't seem to be too annoyed though. Later they go out on boats. Emmanuel can't swim, so when she falls in, she drowns. Gianni revives her. Eddie sees him giving her mouth to mouth and gets jealous. Then they go to visit this tribe, and Gianni starts slagging Eddie off to this guy. Talking to you is like talking to my wife. We don't understand each other. Emmanuel starts drinking this stuff that Professor Kamal warned them about. She starts dancing with the tribe and has sex with them. Come again? Yes, all of them. <sighs> what a slut. The next day, she and Gianni go to this waterfall. She takes a few photos and then they bang. But at dinner that night, there's no sign of Emmanuel. Miss Jordan has checked out of her room. I find that very strange. Is it because of you, Gianni? Why are you asking me? I, I don't know any more than you do. She's off to the train station. When she gets to the train station, there's this hockey team celebrating a victory. They seem pretty taken with Emmanuel. They all get on the train together, and this is seriously creepy. The whole team is just sat there in silence, staring at her. Oh no, they're not just staring, they're touching. You think this guy's gonna put a stop to it, but no. I'm a to fall with <laughs> Anyway, so she caves in in the end and just lets it happen. It's night time now, and they're all asleep. But this guy's decided it's time for round two. A few others join in and it turns into a group situation. When the train arrives at wherever this is, they're all celebrating together. So it looks like a good time was had by all. What? Despite the shaky start. Gianni has turned up. He's like, oh, it's okay. We can meet together now. I've ended things with Eddie Izzard. Good. Good. Then instead of just saying no, Emmanuel comes out with this nonsense. No, Jen. Love is not enough, Gianni. Maybe it's my work. But I must be free. That's what it's like to be a woman. Or at least for a woman like me. What you've just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. And that's the end of the film. So until next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and check out this other video. Thank you.